Hi everyone, it's your boy Sammy Caps. We have more PoE2 updates to share. This weekend at PAX West, Grinding Gear Games sat down with Echo Hack and Geek vs. Geeks, and we are going to examine what we learned from these interviews. In this video, we're going to analyze how the skill tree will be relevant to each one of the 12 classes. We're going to clarify how players can specialize into two different skills and when we can expect the full release of path of exile 2 we're gonna unpeel another layer of the new skill gem system and last but not least more facts on how players can get into the early access of path of exile 2 on november 15th but before we get into all the spicy details if you want to stay up to date with anything everything path of exile 2 but you don't have the time to scour the internet, this channel will be your one-stop shop for all breaking news. We will be creating a ton of content all the way up leading to early access on November 15th and beyond. So make sure to hit that subscription button to stay informed. We have a, a lot to unpack, so let's get to it. I'm sure everyone is excited to learn how Grinding Gear Games is going to handle players getting their hands on the game on November 15th. A lot of speculation on this topic. Some have suggested an invite-only format, while others have speculated players with a certain amount of supporter pack spend will get first dibs. We were not short of theory. However, it was confirmed during the interview with Geek vs. Geeks at PAX West this weekend that PoE2 Early Access on November 15th is not going to be invite only. It's going to be open to all. That is amazing, great news. All of us are gonna be able to jump in. However, what we don't know is how this process will be implemented. As we get more details, I will be providing them to you. So stay tuned. During that interview, Chris LaFerriere from GGG was asked when we can expect the full release of the game. And Chris stated during the early access period is when they will determine what date to set for the full release. It will all depend on the scope of changes needed to address the feedback they receive during early access, as well as the time to deal with any technical problems that arise during early access that they yet haven't encountered. As a side note, for those of you not aware, Path of Exile 1 and 2 are now running on the same engine, which will provide a seamless transition of assets between the two games and also an outlet for Path of Exile to get a fresher look when resources permit. And for those of you curious about the story, both PoE 1 and 2 happen in the same universe, but Path of Exile 2 is set about 20 to 25 years later. The topic of how players can utilize different skills in Path of Exile 2 came up during these interviews and we got insight into specialization points. Now, Regarding specialization points, we get a good number of them. As you progress through the story, players will get two sets of specialization points to assign, one for the main hand and one for the off hand. When you weapon swap from your main hand to your off hand, the passive tree will dynamically change to whichever one you have assigned to whichever weapon set. Now I know you guys are probably all confused. So instead of me confusing you guys, we got a peek into this revolutionary mechanic at XLCon. So instead of me butchering it, let's take a look at how it was demonstrated last year at ExileCon. So, we're on the passive skill screen here, and you can see that we are close to both a cold and a lightning cluster. At the top right of the screen, you can see that we have some weapon set specific points to allocate. If Octavian holds shift, he can allocate set one to the cold passives, and then allocate set two to the lightning passives. Now, <laughs> Check it out. As we use our weapon swap, the skills allocate changes from one build to the other automatically. <laughs> so whenever we cast the appropriate spell, the character's passives reconfigure on the fly to the correct build for that spell. Now you can't do this with every single passive on your tree. Only points granted from skill books will allow this kind of dual specialization. 
So you're not going to be changing from a mace slamming warrior into a fire elementalist with the press of a button. But it certainly increases the number of options you have for builds. There's a huge number of places where the system can shine. You can augment your dagger shadow build with traps, or have a great curse set up on your witch with one spec, and then move to your chaos debuff spells with the other, for example. It really opens up your options. In just about every interview we have seen so far, the topic of the new skill gem and support gems comes up, and rightfully so. It's one of the many new mechanics coming in Path of Exile 2. I've covered this topic in detail in many of my previous PoE2 videos, so I will not repeat what we know so far. And by the way, if you're not up to date, go into my PoE2 playlist and watch those videos and then come back to this one if you wish. The one thing I would like to highlight is how grinding gear games approach to how players will be introduced to PoE2 and specifically how the new skill gem system influences this. Let's just say Path of Exile 2 will be better on onboarding players without sacrificing the depth of what makes PoE what it is. With this new skill gem system, them, players will be gradually introduced with information and they will not feel overwhelmed. The skill gem system UI is new player friendly and will still allow off meta and crazy builds if the player so chooses. Just to reiterate, gym skills do not have character level requirements like PoE. In Path of Exile 2, gem skills are based on what uncut skill gem tier you find. You don't level up skill or support gems with XP anymore. Let's shift gears and discuss the new skill tree. A lot of talk around, is it bigger or smaller than the PoE tree? What is different? All great questions, and I would like to highlight how the classes will start off with the skill tree in Path of Exile 2. As of right now, we know there will be 12 classes six returning and six new. In reference to the skill tree, we know that all classes will share the same skill tree and the only difference will be the starting point for each class. We learned during these interviews that two classes will share the same starting point. As an example, the witch and sorceress will both share the same starting point on the skill tree. That is all the updated information coming out of PAX West. And I do have some comments that I'd like to sprinkle on this video before we end it. And that is a couple of things. First of all, wow, great news. We have confirmation. And finally, we can say that players getting access to the early access of PoE2 is not going to be an invite only. It's going to be open to everybody, according to what we heard out of the PAX West interviews. Now, what we don't know is how this process is going to be executed. Uh, only time will tell, but as we get the details, be rest assured that I will be sharing it with you as soon as we get it. So good news, all of us are gonna have access to Path of Exile 2 on November 15th. The other thing is I'm amazed at how Grinding Gear Games is continually elevating this game from a combat perspective, from a mechanic perspective, from a visual perspective, and just the content that you're introducing into Path of Exile 2 is just like mind blowing. But the one thing that Path of Exile has always taken a knock is the fact that the steep learning curve, it scared a ton of players away from playing. It stalled probably me playing Path of Exile for a minimum five years. So it's remarkable that they're tackling this issue head on with Path of Exile 2 and making it more user and new player friendly while still keeping the core and depth of what Path of Exile is today. Remarkable. They So if you are an OG Path of Exile player, Rest assured, there's still going to be the depth and complexity that you love. And if you're a new player, you don't need to worry anymore that this game is going to be just as complicated as Path of Exile because Grinding Gear Games is going out of their way to put systems in PoE2 that just doesn't inundate you and overwhelm you with all the information and all the decisions. 
they're going out of their way to slowly introduce new players into the game and make it more a better you a player experience um so it's really remarkable what they're doing they're keeping the depth but they're making it for lack of a better term easier to learn the game for new players just remarkable hats off to them it looks like they're going to achieve that and only time will tell but anyway let me know what you think let me know what you what do you think about the fact that it's not going to be an invite only invitation to the early access what do you think what do you think about the the specialization points which we have already seen but what do you guys think about that that looks remarkable where the passive skill tree will be able to based on how you allocate your skill specialization points with your main hand and off hand it automatically is intuitive and switches with you like just remarkable what do you think about that are you do you see yourself are you starting to get builds already in your mind on how you're going to utilize that and a lot of people have focused on the fact that all this swapping it's going to be complicated i'm going to have to touch a thousand buttons now only time will tell how that's going to you know flush out but you have to admit this spell this skill specialization um design is gonna give us an easier transition into the fact that it looks like the game is gonna reward players that use multiple skills and is using skills for situational use um let me know what you think chime in we'd love to hear your thoughts okay That'll do it for me, everybody. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.